Hey guys, it's Dr. Chris of Venture Chiropractic. Just want to go through a little lumbar traction for you guys. Something that can help out if our back's feeling tight, if we might have a little bit of a aggravated disc down there. If you are having pain, make sure you check in with a chiropractor or a physical therapist. Get that looked at, okay? Uh, not something we want to be messing around if you're having a lot of pain. But if we're having small amounts of tightness or we know we have a previous disc issue going on that we just need to self-maintenance a little bit, we're going to go ahead and find a ledge that we can lay on. Weight benches work good. Edge of the bed can work well if it's fairly firm. We're going to use the edge of our chiropractic table today. We're going to lay on our stomach carefully, slowly. We're going to bend our hips right over the edge of the table here so that our back doesn't curve around forward, but the weight of our legs kind of tractions our low back out. This is usually a favorite. When we put people in this position, it just feels good. We can pump our knees up and down for about 10 reps. Or if we're pretty sore, we can just hold this position for a minute straight, okay? When you're done with a minute or 10 reps, you're gonna come on up, support your whole body, brace your abs and come up nice and easy. Step back to neutral position. You should feel like you just relieved some tension off that lower back. You should be feeling a little bit better. You know, we're gonna repeat this as many times throughout the day as makes sense for you, usually three to five times a day if not more. So my second favorite way to stretch out the lower back and get a little bit of lumbar traction there is to just sit in a normal chair with armrests, okay? We're gonna go ahead and support ourselves and very lightly, 20, 30% effort, we're gonna start pushing our hands down on the armrests. I'm not actually trying to lift my whole backside off the seat. I'm just trying to decrease the amount of weight that I'm sitting down on. So this kind of stretches out my spine like an accordion like this. So we just press, hold up for about five to 10 seconds, and relax it back down. Repeat 10 times, or as it feels good. Repeat that as many times today as you can. We're gonna talk about a third way back at the uh, pull bar. All right guys, so next best way to traction out the back. This one's a little bit bigger stretch, so it's not gonna feel good on really hot flare out backs. We might wanna start with one of the first two stretch examples, but when we can tolerate a little bit more stretch, if we do have a pull-up bar at home or something like that, we can go ahead and grab onto the pull-up bar. We're just going to bend our knees, okay? We could potentially use monkey bars in the park down the streets or any other thing that is handy for you to use, but we're going to just bend the knees, straighten the knees several times, go about up to 10 reps. Again, the whole idea is to think of your low back like an accordion. We're just trying to stretch out those segments of your back. If there's absolutely no pain at the bottom of the pull, then we can actually go to lifting up our legs, try to avoid swinging, and then set your legs back down, see how we tolerate the body taking on weight and letting off weight. See what you think of those. Try them out and let us know what you think. Comment below. Tell us what you want to see next time. Have a great day.